What's going on YouTube? This your boy I am Core from the accolades.com. Hey, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so y'all can get notifications whenever I upload more videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at I am Core, A M K H O R D, and I'll follow y'all back as soon as I can. Hey, appreciate the support. We ain't gonna waste too much time. Let's get right into it. Bow. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This your boy I am Core from the accolades.com. I'm here with kind of like an update with FL Studio installing VSTs like Nexus, uh, VST issues that some of y'all are having. Because I've been seeing in the comments people are having issues when they try to open a certain VST up in FL Studio and it's not working. And people ask me about Nexus. Um, so let's get into it. So to start off, Nexus. With Nexus, I don't know of any crack version of Nexus that works for Mac. I don't. I end up having to buy Nexus. And when I bought it, I ended up finding someone on eBay that was selling Nexus and Halion Sonic and all of the expansions that they had for Nexus for $150. So I pretty much came up on a lick and I, I bought it. I paid $150 and I got all the expansions that that person currently had. So all you had to do is transfer it over to my account. So another thing I want to talk about, um, Windows. A lot of people keep asking me about installing Windows VSTs with on the Macs, on the Mac FL Studio. Now, when FL Studio first came out with the first, I think it was like the first alpha or beta version for the Mac, you were able to use Windows VSTs because they had a built-in crossover wrapper that allowed you to install it so with everything that's with all the you know the progress that they've made so far with fl studio for the mac they no longer have that crossover wrapper anymore so now you have to have the mac dmg or package file installation file for your vsts you cannot install windows vsts so I know a lot of people keep asking me, so I'm saying it again. You cannot install Windows VSTs on the Mac operating system. All right, so with that being said, we're going to download. As you can see, I got my Nexus account open. To show you all, for those who do have Nexus or thinking about getting Nexus, I guess, uh, we're going to download. You see what it says OSX or Windows. I need the, op the OSX version. I'm going to download it. Boom. Now it's saying it's going to take 30 seconds. So now we're downloading the DMG file to install Nexus. All right. So this is the DMG file. This is the type of file that you will need for all Mac VSTs that you want to install, whether it be a VST, AU version, or whatever, RTAS, DPM, whatever for Pro Tools. It will be in the form of a DMG file or a package file. Now, when I double click on this DMG file, when it opens up, you're going to see the package file. Bam. That's the package file. And I know somebody said I ain't go through the process of showing you how to install a VST on the Mac. I mean, it's pretty simplified. You just follow the directions. As you can see with this package file, I'm not going to fully install it because I already got Nexus installed. But I'm going to double click on the package file. And this is what you're going to get. The Welcome to RF REFX Nexus installer. So these are the steps it's going to go through. So I'm going to hit continue. It's going to give me the license agreement. Do I agree with it? Hit continue. Yes, I agree. Now it's asking me where do I want to install it. I choose where I want to install it. I can change the location. Right now it's going to my hard drive that's named SKS Music. Or I can change it to go to another hard drive, whichever one I prefer. So once I hit install, it's going to install it. Well, I don't need to do that because it's already installed on my computer. But that's it. You just hit install. And it's going to say successfully installed or whatnot. So once you finish with that, let's open up FL Studio. Okay, now we got FL Studio. Now, just to show you that Nexus is working, it's right here. 
drag it. Then it's going to open up. Boom. I'm going to turn this down so it ain't too loud in your ears. All right, that's Nexus. Now, I've seen in the comments that people were having problems with VSTs not opening in FL Studio on the Mac. Now, the, the problem that you're having is say, we're going to do Salent. You're getting this error. The plugin failed to load. Something went wrong loading the VST. The reason you're getting this error is because it's a 32-bit VST. Now, as you can see on the screen, right here, image line only they they have made it to where FL Studio is a 64-bit application. Then they no longer have a 32-bit installer anymore. So what that means is being that it's a 64-bit application, you cannot install 32-bit VSTs and expect them to open in, in FL Studio because it's a 32-bit VST. You will have to have the 64-bit VST. As you can see, with these VSTs right here, you see these saying 64-bit, 64-bit, 64-bit. And you see Salint and Synth1 and some other ones like Purity, they don't have nothing to, beside them. So those are assumed to be 32-bit VSTs. Now, here's what you can do. And I'm going to do a tutorial on this in another video. As you can see on the screen, you, they have an application called JBridge. I, I think it's like $20 or something for it. But with JBridge, it allows you to take a 32-bit VST and wrap it to make it a 64-bit VST. That way, it will open up in, in FL Studio. So that takes care of that. Now, as well with uh, Nexus, Nexus requires an iLock, as you can see right here. This is the iLock that's required for Nexus to even work. That's why I say I haven't, I haven't seen no cracked version for Nexus working in, on the Mac side. I don't think nobody has got past using that uh, or, or bypassing the iLock feature. So, you know, hopefully this helps some of y'all out. I'm trying to think off the top, is there any, anything else that y'all been asking? So we went over the 32-bit versions of VSTs not working with 64-bit, being the FL Studio is a 64-bit application now. We also went over you using JBridge. And also with the uh, the iLock, you need an iLock for Nexus to work on the Mac. Unless y'all found the doggone crack version of F, uh, Nexus working on the Mac, so be it. But th that answers pretty much all of the questions that I've been getting in my comments and via email. It's always the same questions. You cannot install Windows VSTs on the Mac side, or on a Mac operating system, period. So, again, hopefully I answered a lot of y'all questions. If y'all have any more questions, feel free to hit me up. Y'all want to see more tutorials or whatnot, uh, just let me know what y'all want to see. Uh, until the next tutorial, see y'all on the next one. Peace out. Bow.